BBC particularly, you know, the British who colonized India and bled India. You know. If you look at the, if you look at the, uh, the archives of the British, there were great famines, you know, between 1800 and 1900. You know, 20 million people, 20 million Indians died of famine. These are the British archives. 20 million Indians died of famine, and the British were supposed to have brought you know, prosperity, democracy, you know, education to India. 20 million people in India died of famine between 1800 and 1900. Very few people know this. Know this. So the BBC should, you know, feel a little bit, uh, you know, you know uh, careful. But but my my experience has been, and uh, no, I'm not casting the impression on the BBC because it's a remarkable television. The document documentaries are some of the best in the world. You know, so, but as far as the coverage of India goes, you know, it has always been negative. I remember in Kashmir, when I was covering Kashmir. In the late 80s, and you know, from between 87 and 97, I spent a lot of time in Kashmir. In those days, it was under curfew most of the time, so there was one hotel open in Srinagar. It was on the band, forgot the name of the hotel, but all the Western journalists found themselves there. And I was the only one who knew that the Pakistani government was supporting, financing, and arming the Kashmiri militants. All the other journalists, including Mark Turley, you know, said, no, no, it is not true. You know, the Indian government is accusing wrongly the Pakistani government to support terrorism. But I knew, I knew it was true. It was not possible otherwise. You know. So the BBC always does negative stories on, on, on India. Mm -hmm.